Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist, and today we are going to get started with some dragonflies and damselflies. Alright, so got some couple damselflies here, and got a couple dragonflies, and see uh, some bandweed meadowhawks, uh, very good in uh, meadowhawk right there. Uh, common white tail steamer right there. Um, so when I got the stuff ready, got the um, the envelopes that I use um, already labeled the uh, data for these ones. Um, so get them all in there and then they will go in here see for uh, information on the back then this is a uh, some petra matrusum the white face meadow hawk and i put the common name as well on the thingy when i out on the cards when i id them as well because unlike most other insects, dragonflies actually have common names that are actually recognized. Uh, so that's uh, one of my things right there. Uh, I'm not going to label these ones yet. I'll do that later on. Um, at this point, I'm just getting there in, the, in their... Uh, uh, envelopes initially with the information that I'll go through and ID them all at a different time. Um, and here we actually have a pile right here that I collected when I went back to Wisconsin to visit my family. This is from the end of July. So there's some awesome stuff in there as well um child probably i should have should have enough uh bags for them and everything so i can get those all put away as well um so yeah so there are designated like actual legit uh envelopes you can buy them bioquip for using up for Odonata. Um, I just get these, they work fine for me. Um, I just get these baits from Walmart and then I zip them or yeah, zip them tight, put them around and use uh, paper clips. And as you can see, this is pretty much the what it looks like in the end. And it works fantastic for me. I've had no problems. So that's what I've been doing and that's what I will continue to do for my collection. Um, but uh, so rambling on, I'll get these in their uh, envelopes. All right, so I got the dragonflies in their envelopes here. And the damsel flies. Um, so I'm gonna out and grab the other box. Um, I got two with them so far. So this is a slow growing but steadily growing part of my collection. And uh, definitely a portion of the collection that is gonna be pretty important. For me later on. Well, in other words, I want it to be a I want it to be an integral part of my private collection. The Odonates. But uh I'm gonna go ahead and count the ones I got from these ones from Wisconsin. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Okay. So I should have 
I thought I bought a new bag, but I wonder if this is a new bag, and I'm already out. But I should, I should hopefully have enough. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I said seven, eight. Yes, I will have enough. Okay, so I'll do these as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put these ones. Oh, I'll throw them in this one for now. I'll. Uh, this will all get sorted some other time. But uh, I'll get these in here and then we'll actually count and uh, see how much uh, we have. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, so here's the second batch. Uh, got metal hearts here. A uh, white face. And got a widow skimmer right there. And a 12 spotted skimmer as well. Um, so, yeah. So, I got their cards all labeled. I'm going to get them in their uh, things and get them in there. And then we're going to count them real quick. And, uh, yeah, so I'll get that done. Alrighty, so I went ahead and counted, and, and uh, this box here, we have 84. And in this one here, we have 108. So because I'm lazy and don't want to write out the math... Do a calculator and that equals 102. So that's not too bad for a single year of collecting. Um, I do have other dragonflies and damselflies, but they're spread and they aren't preserved in the way they should be. Um, but I'll count those eventually, but that's a pretty good start and yeah. So I guess we'll move on to what I'm doing with, uh, the empty Cornell drawer that I have right now and a different organization I'm going to try. So I'll dig that stuff out right now. All right, so I'm going to use these as the sample to start with. So there's some whites and uh, sulfurs in here. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to forego the unit trays for majority of the or the larger species of the butterflies and moths. And I'm just gonna set them in here and I have the species uh, tage right there. So I'll put the species right there and then I'll kinda, it's gonna be kinda like the same thing here, but uh, a little different. Um, I think this will work better for me right now for my Lepidoptera. Then I can use the unit trays for my bees and wasps and the bigger growing sections of my collection right now. And uh, since I'm still I still collect a lot of, collect a lot of Lepidoptera, but. Not as much as the uh, other groups of insects. So I'm going to use the unit trays for those. Then put these in just straight up in here. Um, and these will actually be getting updated labels. I changed my labels a little bit. So they're about twice as small. So they don't take up near as, enough, uh, near as much space. Uh, which is nice. 
So um, I'm gonna write the labels tonight and then we'll put the new labels on them tomorrow and then we'll finish this up and then yeah so that's gonna be that so I'm gonna end this here for tonight then just a quick time jump and then we'll finish the rest up tomorrow All right, so I went ahead and made the new labels for the butterflies I'm going to be putting in this box right here. And uh, this is going to be a drawer of yellows and sulfurs. Um, so, as you can see, the top, the bigger label is uh, my old labels that I have and everything. And the bottom label are the new ones. Um, twice as small so it takes up a lot less room but still has all the same information and still works just as fine so yeah I'm really happy about these small labels they really help saving room in the collection and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead I got the stringer labels right here for the cloudless sulfurs and I'll get them all situated. All right, so we're making some leeway. And as you can see, we got all the yellows and sulfurs from this drawer in here now. And uh, I'm really liking the look of it. I think I, I think I'm gonna like how the Lepidopter are gonna look in this type of setup instead of the unit trays. Um, but we have those. So we have these ones up next to do, and that should probably take up. most of the case here. Of course now I gotta start ordering more of the ones with the foam bottoms so I can continue putting the butterflies in them. And I think it'll, it'll be a really nice project once it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get to work on the uh, second grouping. Alright everybody and as you can see, I finished. So this drawer are all sulfurs and yellows. And uh, I like the way it turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. I like the look of it. It still looks neat even without the uh, unit trays. It still looks organized and Looks pretty good in my opinion. And uh, so yeah, this is a pretty good sample of what I'm gonna do with my Lepidoptera now. Um, I really like it. So take a quick look at what species I have in here. Parasitia lisa. Over here, Dainty Sulfur, Athalus, Seoli. Up here, of course, we have the cloud, uh, Cloudless Sulfur, Phobus Sine, uh, Southern Dogface, Serini Sasonia, uh, Sleepy Orange, beautiful species. Abeus uh, Nisipi. I love the colors of those. And here we have uh, some coleus. We have uh, coleus interior, coleus uh, philodesi, and coleus serothemi.
Of course, this is the orange sulfur, and this is the clouded sulfur. And the, these are uh, pink edged sulfurs. See how variable the orange sulfurs are? Beautiful species as well. And this is a pretty good reason why uh, uh, um, Pyrides are uh, my favorite family of butterflies. They're just all awesome. Anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Just some trading flies, damsel flies, and doing this. Um, so I'll figure out something to look at here in the next video here pretty soon. The next day or two, probably. I'm sure there's something we can do. But uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I guess there are parts of these videos that will probably be kind of boring, but we get to look at some awesome insects anyway. So comment, like, subscribe, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.